guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a very exciting one. This is the first Halloween look that I've done on my channel ever and my first Halloween look that I've ever done. So this is a cute little deer makeup look. Um, I kind of just like went with it. I kind of, I don't know how I got this, but I just winged it and this is what we came up with. So yeah, if you want to see how to get this cute little deer look, then just keep on watching. Today to start off with this deer makeup look, let me just first say that I'm not naked. I have a shirt on. And second off, this is my first makeup tutorial. Or, oh my goodness. This is my first Halloween makeup tutorial. It's not like anything crazy where it's like bloody, gory, intense. This is more like beginner's makeup look for Halloween. And I forgot to mention that this is all drugstore makeup. So this is affordable. And yeah. So first I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Master Prime Blur and Smooth Primer. I love this primer. So I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus in Buff Bisque and then the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow in the shade 203 Nude Beige. I really like this combination. I don't know why I like this so much because I'm oily as hell, but it works. I'm gonna go in with a like lighter concealer than I usually do. I think I'm gonna mix um, the shade Light and Fair of the Maybelline Master Conceal. So I'm gonna try Fair first and see if this is too light. I am going to cream contour, so I think I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me foundation stick, and this is in the shade 355 Coconut. This is a really deep color, but I wanted it this deep just because I feel like it would look better with a dear makeup tutorial. So our cream contour is all blended out and I'm just going to bake my face with the Airspun Loose Powder. I love this powder, but I would definitely be careful when you're applying it. Like, use a light hand, definitely. While I let my face bake, I'm just going to set like the rest of my face just with the same airspun powder and I'm kind of just gonna like press it in. I'm not gonna swipe because that will then just move the cream products underneath so definitely just patting is the way to go. It sets it right where you put the products. For my brows I'm gonna use the NYX um, eyebrow pencil and this is in the shade chocolate. I'm gonna fill them in like usual and then once I set them, I'm gonna push the brow hairs up. Okay, so now I'm just gonna clean these up with that same concealer. I'm 
gonna just bronze my face real quick and I'm going in with the NYX matte bronzer in the shade deep tan this is a hella dark bronzer mm -hmm. so I'm gonna use this Sonia Kashuk brush it doesn't have a name on it but and I'm just gonna go over those spots that I cream contoured Now we are going to move on to eyes. So for today, I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution, what is this called, Light and Shade palette. Um, I'm just going to use a couple matte shades, and then pretty much our whole lid is just going to be a huge wing with a little bit of glitter on it. So I am taking this big fluffy brush, the Morphe M511, and I think I'm going to go in hmm, with this shade right here. And then with a Morphe M433, I'm going to go in with this deep chocolate right here. And this is also going to go right in our crease just to deepen it up a little bit. And then we are going to do a huge wing liner. This puppy is going to be intense. So I'm using the Wet n Wild Felt Tip Eyeliner. Love this eyeliner. Oh, love it. This is running out. Usually it's really good, but I'm going to go get my Sigma eyeliner pod. This was not working out, so I just grabbed my Sigma um, eyeliner pod. There's a bunch of pods like this at the drugstore. I think Maybelline, NYX definitely has one. So if you are looking for a drugstore alternative for the Sigma one, I would try those. Okay, so I tried. The wings are a little intense. I don't know how I feel about them. Mm, not quite sure. I think I have some work to do with my wings. <laughs> Is this horrible? Do I have to stop recording now? Oh my god. They don't even really like look like wings. They just look like... Okay, so we're gonna keep going. These wings aren't the best, but if you're better at wings, then kudos to you, girl. So now I'm taking the NYX Liquid Crystal Liner. This is in the shade Silver, and I'm gonna draw a line over the wing. Wish me luck. Glitter liner is on. It looks a little better. It's a little messy, but no one's perfect, okay? So then I am going to move on to like the blush and stuff. So I'm taking the Wet n Wild Mellow Wine Blush. I'm just gonna add a little bit of this. Nothing crazy. And 
And then for a highlight, we're going to go real beaming. So I'm going in with the Milani Strobe Light in the shade Day Glow. Just taking my Anastasia brush. And then on top of that, I'm going to put my Wet n Wild um, highlighter in the shade Blossom Glow. This is so pretty. It's like a light, iridescent, light pink, I guess. And then to set the brows, I'm going in with the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. And I'm going to, like, push them up. Now I'm just going to apply the white dots all over my face. This is like the most exciting part. <laughs> so I'm just using the end of a brush. This is the Morphe M330. It's kind of like a like medium sized end. To create the white dots, I'm taking the NYX Gel Liner and Smudger in the shade White. So I'm hoping this like dries down and like stays where I want it to be, I guess. Let's hope. I'm just mixing my brush in it. And then I'm going to take a brush with a smaller end, like this, and then go around these dots. Just so there's a little bit of a difference. And then to create the nose, I'm using the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Black. Okay, so we have the nose and half of the lip. So I'm going to go complete the eyes. Um, it's just going to be really simple underneath my for my lower lash line. I'm just going to take the chocolate shade, the dark shade right here in the palette, and smoke this underneath my lower lash line. And then on the waterline, I'm just going in with a black liner, and this is from Maybelline. And then for the inner part of the lower lash line, I'm going in with that same liquid liner. I'm just going to line right here. And now I'm just going to go apply some lashes and then we will finish up this look. All I did was apply my Ardell Wispy lashes and then I just applied mascara over them. And then for my bottom lashes, I only went to where like the glitter starts. I only applied mascara on the outer part. So that is all I did. We are almost done with this look. I'm obsessed so far. So I kind of want to take it to the next level and add some glitter to these dots. How about you? Because that's what I'm feeling. So we're going to take that same glitter liner. This is the best glitter liner from the drugstore. It's so bomb and it's so cheap. So I'm just going to add some glitter to some dots.
So the last thing to do is just add a lipstick on the bottom lip. So I'm going in with the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Mess Around. This is such a cute color. Okay guys, so this is the completed look. Um, you can either leave it like this. I think this is like so cute. It's super simple, honestly. You just have to really be good at this wing liner, which that took me a while, but now that like it has the glitter on top, I feel like it looks way better. I am loving this. I honestly might wear this for Halloween and just like dress it up a little bit. I'm pumped. This is my first time actually trying this too, so I'm surprised just as much as you guys are probably. So I kind of want to add glitter on my bottom lip. I don't know how good that's going to look though. I'm, I like the matte, but like I want to see how it looks. So let's try it out. Why not? We can always take it off and then reapply the matte lipstick and then we are good to go. So I do have this a loose glitter, so I think I'm going to try and apply this. This is in the shade silver as well, so it matches. I think I like the glitter. I don't know why. I feel like it's kind of like giving me alien vibes, but like with a deer combined. I like them both, honestly. So you can either keep it with the matte lip or you can do the glitter like this. It's completely up to you guys, but this is the completed look. This is a cute little deer. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this um, Halloween makeup tutorial. It's not like bloody and gory. This is more like my style, like shimmers, cute. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave to join the S-Squad. Before you leave, let me know what other looks you kind of want me to try out. I'll look up some ideas, but this is the first one of many. So hopefully you liked it, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, loves.